I'm happy to say <coughs> I made a project or it made itself and then I completed it uh, is it complete? I have to export it first I have set all the sound to 42% and then I discovered the original file is 140 14 minutes and 2 seconds, or 20 seconds, or 0.2 seconds, whatever. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. Here. Love to get lost in, in and lose conscious sense of time. You can do that in the room. So this is a timing thing, a synchronicity. I was uh, listening to music on my YouTube. Downloaded. I don't have internet at the time. And then I had put on a clip, and then it synchronized very well with Little Dragon <coughs> when the Little Dragon was there. And then I put it on repeat. And then it followed up, and then it showed results. But I haven't seen the third part yet. Maybe that too is synchronized. It could be a one hour and 51 minute project or less. Let's see. It's live on KEXP. We're broadcasting in Seattle at 90.3 FM worldwide at KEXP.org and through our free mobile apps. And live sessions like this one are made possible because of listener support. We're so grateful to have the opportunity to give artists a platform like this. And it's made possible because of donations from people just like you. So thank you. If you'd like to give, you can online easily at KEXP.org. And I can't even express just how excited I am to welcome Little Dragon back to the studio today.
You're listening to Little Dragon live on KEXP. We're going to play a song called Lily's Call.
Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Little Dragon live on KEXP sounded so good. We have some folks joining us. Oh, yes. Uh, we're so happy we got to meet April plus Vista. They're dear friends of us. They came to Gothenburg for, for a little trip and we made some music. Uh, we made an EP called Slipping Into Color and we're gonna play a song called Slumber.
We did it. <laughs> it was fantastic. Little Dragon live here on KEXP with April and Vista doing uh, a guest on that song. Yeah, we're going to play one, uh, one last song called Where You Belong. sounds of Little Dragon here live on KEXP. Thank you so much for that. It was stunning. Thank you Truly. for having us. Yeah, I'm so happy, happy to be here. I'm glad and I have to tell you before we start in a, on this conversation just truly how incredible it is for me to have you here. I've been listening as a fan for almost two decades now um, wow. and your music has been really meaningful to me so I just want to say thank you for that, for making so many great records that, that I love in my life. Wow. <laughs> anyway, moving on, now that I've gushed a little. So, welcome to Seattle. Yes. <laughs> welcome back. 
It's have you good had, to be back. It is, um, despite the rainy weather today. We're from Sweden, so yeah, we we're used it. to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you know, your your music is so soulful, and especially on this record, Slugs of Love, I feel like these good poppy beats. It's kind of like, um, imagine walking into a vintage clothing shop, but finding something that's like incredibly in style right now. It's sort of a, a way that I like to think of it. How do you do that? How do you find this balance in your music? Oh. We go to a lot of vintage uh, stores. <laughs> no, I, I, th I think it's the the sum of um, the four of us, like having all different inputs and, and liking different stuff, and then merging together in a shared vision of uh, madness and yeah. mix. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Madness is good sometimes, especially it's worked out well for your music. Um, so Slugs of Love, this is your newest album other than the EP that we just heard a track off of. This is your seventh full-length full length album. It's fantastic. One of my favorite albums of the year. Um, and I'm hoping you can tell me a little bit about the creative process, where your heads were at, where you were making this album, that sort of thing. I mean, we've been collaborating so much through the years, so I think we're sort of like... I think we felt with that album that we kind of figured it out a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we share a studio together and we meet and we jam out and we experiment with kind of different ways of starting a song. Sometimes we try out the more classic way of songwriting and sometimes it starts with just like a beat. Most of our music actually is, uh, you know, starts with the music and a beat and then vocals and yeah. so. But, but we've experimented a lot um, with each other. Yeah. We had a, a little, we were mind mapping or with colors, we were uh, we sort of had three words, uh, trance, romance, and dance. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like that. And some, I think those three things have been around us always, I think. Mm -hmm. We always love the, the, the romantic vibes and... We love to dance, and then we also love to get lost in, in and lose sense of time. You can do that in the romantic genre too, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> those but then were we tried the 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 just just process. The yes process. The yes yeah. process. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Say yes. yes. <laughs> Well, I like trans romance dance. Those are three words I would definitely use to describe Little Dragon. Yeah, oh, it worked nice. out well. It came through in this record. <laughs> so you're all from Sweden, as many people would likely know. And Yukimi, you're Japanese, Swedish, correct? Half American, half, half uh, Japanese, born in Sweden. And born in Sweden, OK. So the, the band, obviously, is so unique, unmistakable. It's so cool to hear, really, the way that your sound evolves and changes over time, record to record, but really remains you it's it's unmistakably little dragon so do you find that there's like sounds or inspirations or instruments anything that help you stay rooted in that sound that you've created for so many years now i mean i i draw the comparison to like um you know uh, uh, you, uh our personalities mm -hmm. you know like we change but sort of there's an essence of who you believe you are that's kind of the same but still you're not the same person as you know 20 years ago yeah, I, obviously your cells are new, new and all that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, it's, you still kind of, there's a thread there. Right. <laughs> I think I'm still me, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I feel new. Yeah. Um, I think that was kind of uh, the feeling that we had between, um, for new me, same us. You know, it's mm -hmm. a, you're, you're new in every moment, but it's still kind of still us, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, Beautiful answer. I really love that. I was going to ask you if it was just Swedish mag magic, but like, that's a better answer than what I was going to ask. All right, so you've been making music together for almost 20 years now, or right around there. Yeah. Um, how is your dynamic as a band, the way you collaborate, changed? Has it? I know, you write, record, and produce all your own music, correct? Mm. Yeah. yeah. So has, it, has the collaborative... Uh, vibe changed at all for the band or are you just I mean I think co collaboration it, with it, music is collaboration in a way because you know you're communicating with your instruments um, so we do that a lot when we play live but also I mean we get to practice communicating uh, with our words when we write music yeah. <laughs> as well and that's you know like as every human being knows it's a, it can be easy it can be challenging um, to get your ideas across. I think we're all pretty, you know, 
uh, we have uh, our own taste and our own visions and you know we we kind of like can be stubborn mm -hmm. but i think that that's the beauty of the band is that it's it's helped uh, all of our different personalities to to loosen up in in our own our own ways yeah so i'd i'd say that's the beauty of collaboration you know you get get a little bit outside of your own head mm -hmm. um so that's that's the beauty of being in a band really i think I, you know, whenever I see bands that have been together for this long, I really commend you because it's it's hard to, to keep friendships like this, especially in a working relationship. I have to imagine that's not easy. It wouldn't be for me, at least. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's good to practice the habit of expressing the love for each other. Also, I think. After all, that's where oh, I'm sure we all had this fire as, as young kids. <laughs> To be in a band and to be out there and find fans and and be on stage, you know, it's a bit of a blessing, a spell to have music in your life like that mm -hmm. because you're searching for euphoria always. And and uh, but I think we uh, I think we realized that over the years that we uh, we there's still so much to get to know about each other and we can still be very curious about our your friends you know and, mm -hmm. and 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 express and to get deep into your friendship you kind of have to work on the love bit as well you can't just focus on we're in a band and it has to keep on working so that we can pay the bills and all, and all of that because <laughs> where we started was simply love for music and love for the sound that we made together so mm. trying to Keep that healthy. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Taking notes. So Slugs of Love has some really cool guest artists like Damon Albarn is on Stay, or I'm sorry, on Glow, and then J.I.D. is on Stay. Correct. How do you decide who you collaborate with or who you feature on your records? Because you have so like so many songs, so many artists you've collaborated with over the years. Is there, do you contact people? Do they contact you? Tell me more about that. <laughs> I mean, we haven't really, uh, for, for our first albums, we didn't have any guests. Mm -hmm. We were really stubborn there. We were on a lot of other people's albums, but uh -huh. we were like, we're going to keep it clean. <laughs> just be us. But um, I think, uh, yeah, we just kind of wanted to be open-minded and, you know, okay. You know, first we sort of uh, marinated the idea of having a guest. And then all of a sudden you start making music and you hear somebody on a track and you're like, oh, this would suit that person. Mm -hmm. And then you ask and you get a yes or no, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's kind of how we've uh, done it so well, far. I love those, I love seeing those features on there. They're perfectly done with the album. And, uh, okay, I have to ask you this, Yukimi. So I am also a mother. I know you're a mother too. Um, and you've made almost as many albums as a mom than before you were a mom, right? I, th I think I have that correct. So how, tell me a little bit about how the, that part of your life um, like influences your creative process and I'm not sure if any of you are also parents but I just you know as mom to mom <laughs> I mean yeah it, it influenced uh, I think uh, myself like deeply because I was telling the guys yesterday I felt like you know I was just we were on a roll uh, with with sort of trying to be we were the up and coming and we were catching all the moments and, you know take it or you lose it kind of mentality and then when I had my first kid um, I, ha I had this very like epiphany of like, oh, what's the point of music? Yeah. What's the point? Who, who am I? You know, it was like a real psychedelic trip, but <laughs> without the psychedelics, it was like, you know, what's the point? What's the reason? Is music even important for the world? And, you know, sort of lost my identity and sort of felt like everything was moving so fast and I was moving so slow. Um, and uh, I think it was a really healthy process. I had to sort of um, become my, myself or the, the new person uh, that I was going to be. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, um, it's changed me mm -hmm. big time. And I mean, I think that being a mom for me personally is like the hardest job I've ever <laughs> experienced yeah. in my life. I, I thought it was going to be cozy and nice, but it's definitely <laughs> like uh, testing, you know, testing my personality and all those bits. <laughs> on the deepest level. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I, yeah. I understand you 1,000%. <laughs> yes. Well, you've had um, a busy year. You've, uh, you've put out two releases now. You have a sold-out tour across North America. Uh, you've been busy. So tell me, what's, 
do you have like a, a post-tour ritual? What's the first thing you want to do when you get home and don't have to worry about this anymore? <laughs> as, as fun and wonderful as it is. It's always a funny contrast leaving this uh, daily chase of euphoria and then you end up in a sofa mm -hmm. with Netflix. And uh, <laughs> how do you deal with that? It's like, where, when is the climax of the day coming? Because <laughs> yeah. uh, the, 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 the days on the road are very dynamic. Right. You, you, you know, it's a build up every day and it's very meaningful and it keeps you on your toes. So, yeah, somehow you have to, I think personally, I start by doing the dishes, like humble mm. myself. <laughs> like we don't have a dishwasher at home, so I'm like, okay, just bring it on. Yeah, I'm, go, I'm also a, I'm a father of three, so I'm. Mm. A, I just I'm, I feel like I'm, the lowest grade of our family. Mom is top, and yes. then there are some kids, and I'm the lowest creature <laughs> of all in our household. But I, I enjoy it. It's it's a. Uh, um, because if I walk into the kitchen like, hey, I'm the drummer of Little Dragon, I don't do dishes, that, that <laughs> it doesn't work out. Uh, so yeah, get, 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 get the taste for reality as quick as possible. Good. I think that's the ritual. I, I bet it, yeah, I bet it's nice to sleep in your own bed too. I'm oh yeah. That, yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> After the dishes comes the bed. Yeah, and have like a bathroom ready <laughs> yeah. at your house, you know, yeah. with the shower. And it's not moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're not being jostled as you're, yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much for being here. This was really wonderful. It was so nice to see all of you, thank you. live and in person. Oh. I hope that you'll come back again soon. Thank, thank you. you so much for thank having you. us. Yeah, yeah, it sounded really wonderful. And thank you so much to our listeners for you know listening and watching this session. If you want to find more sessions like this one, you can subscribe at KEXP's YouTube channel. These sessions are made possible because of donor support, so thank you so much. And if you would like to support these sessions, you can become a channel member with a monthly contribution by clicking the Join button below this video. And as a channel member, you'll receive exclusive access to select live streaming performances of KEXP in studio sessions as a special perk. You can make a donation directly at kexp.org. Thank you for listening today. This has been Little Dragon live on KEXP. Lovely. Thank you so much. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org. It's live on KEXP. We're broadcasting in Seattle at 90.3 FM, worldwide at kexp.org and through our free mobile apps. And live sessions like this one are made possible because of listener support. We're so grateful to have the opportunity to give artists a platform like this, and it's made possible because of donations from people just like you. So thank you. If you'd like to give, you can online easily at kexp.org. And I can't even express just how excited I am to welcome Little Dragon back to the studio today. Thanks for being here. They're in the live room with me and they're going to play some music for us. So thank you all for being here today. And whenever you're ready, please take your away.
never, never want to fall in love, never, never want to fall in love. Listening to Little Dragon live on KEXP. We're gonna play a song called Lily's Call.
You're listening to the beautiful sounds of Little Dragon live on KEXP. We're going to do a little switching around again here. <laughs> it's sounding great. This, uh, this next one is called Slugs of Love. Yes. Dragon live on KEXP sounding so good. We have some folks joining us. Oh, yes. Well, we're so happy we got to meet April plus Vista. They're dear friends of us. Uh, 
they came to Gothenburg for for a little trip and we made some music uh, we made an EP called Slipping Into Color and we're gonna play a song called Slumber Thank you. 